In five days, more than 35,000 students will begin the new school year with Cincinnati Public Schools. And with this new school year comes a host of changes for CPS, too. They have a new interim superintendent, a new cell phone policy, and yes, new buildings. WLWT News Size anchor Ashley Kirkland talked with Superintendent Shauna Murphy today about the goals for this year. And Ashley, what's she saying? A lot at this press conference here. Sheree Murphy has been on the job as interim superintendent in just a few months, but she She's no stranger to the district. She says making sure the students are welcomed into a warm, loving and supportive environment is priority. Wow. Where my at, bro? Ahead of the last weekend before back to school starts for thousands of kids in our area, Cincinnati public school leaders are making sure parents and students get the facts about the new year. Let's start with the new rules for cell phones. So this year, every single high school will be able to provide our students with yonder pouches. The yonder pouches are meant to help limit distractions that often result as from the use of cell phones. The policy was piloted last year at Hughes STEM High School and interim superintendent Shauna Murphy says it was highly successful and well received by students. Next up, busing. Metro has been at the table with us. They've put some technology in place where the bus passes that our students receive this year will be connected specifically to them. And so when they tap to get on a bus, we are able to track their route and make sure that they arrive to and from school and home safely. Metro put in some crosstown routes to eliminate the number of students who would need to travel into downtown Cincinnati. Now to new buildings. Students in grades 9 through 12 will go to Riverview East Academy. 120 Riverview East Academy students will go to Mount Washington School. Spencer Center students will go to the former Riverview East Academy building. Dr. Odell Owen Center for Learning students will go to the former Spencer Center building and 7th and 8th grade Schroeder students will go to the former Dr. Odell Owen Center for Learning Building. Well, the ending of the ESSER funds from COVID means some cuts to school nurses within CPS, but Murphy says health services will not be cut back for students. Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5.